Welcome to this first look at the Cantima Portal workflow for Premiere Pro. The familiar web interface is one of the greatest features of Portal. It's intuitive to use and provides a rich, comprehensive toolset. Searches are easy to perform, and you can effortlessly add items that catch your eye to the media bin to reference later, be that one item or multiple items. All you do is click to select each item and choose Add to Bin from one item action menu. If you're in the midst of an editing project, it's not always convenient to switch from your NLE to the browser. Sometimes you'll be required to move back and forth a lot, which can disrupt the flow of your work. For this reason, Cantomo have taken advantage of the Adobe API for Premiere Pro to create a custom panel. What this means is you can access Portal directly within the application. The Cantomo panel exists alongside the other panels in Premiere Pro. It combines the look and feel of Premiere Pro with the power of Portal Asset Management. To start using the panel, each editor must first log in. This way, Portal is able to authenticate your credentials and control the level of access you're given to the system. Click on the Search tab to reveal the search options. You can browse items or search as you would in the web browser. Simply click items to import them. There you see the clip appears in the project panel. As you might expect, when you're working with shared storage, your media remains in place. You're just creating a reference to the clip within Premiere Pro. And now you have access to it like any other clip. Double click to open it in the source panel. Press play or spacebar to view. Any items you've added to your bin can be accessed through the Media Bin tab. It's important to remember that the Media Bin is unique to your login, so these are your pre-selected clips. Once again, you click items to import them into your project. Two, three, four, five, and six. Shift-click the clips in the project panel to select them all, and drag and drop to add them to the sequence. Press backslash to better fit the clips to the window. Let's create a quick effect using the new adjustment layer feature. Click on the new item button, select the adjustment layer option, click the OK button, drag the adjustment layer to the video two track and extend it across all of the clips on video one. Select the Effects tab or press Shift 7 on your keyboard. It's easiest to search for the effect you're going to use, G, A, U, and there's the Gaussian Blur. Drag the Blur effect to the Adjustment layer in the timeline. Click to select the Adjustment layer and press Shift 5 to open the Effects Controls panel. Increase the amount of blurriness. Click to reveal the Opacity options. Select the Overlay Blend mode. And lower the Opacity of the Adjustment layer to reduce the overall intensity of the effect. Toggle the visibility of the video 2 track to see before and after. When you're ready, you can use the panel to export your work directly back to Portal. Before you export, there's one additional tab to be aware of. Shared Storage provides editors with file system access. You would normally do this if you need to work with files before they've been ingested into Portal, perhaps for live streams where the file is growing, for example in a news environment, or for fast turnaround of dailies. The final tab to explore is Export. Click on the Export button to reveal the export settings. The panel uses presets from Adobe Media Encoder and the metadata fields you use in Portal. Enter a file name and a title. The panel includes all of the metadata structures you find in Portal, including lookup fields, where you simply start typing and Portal offers a list of available terms. Fill out the metadata as required. Click the export button to begin the render and ingest process. Click the OK button to acknowledge the ingest has been completed successfully. Back in the browser, refresh the search to see the newly created item. Click the item to view the item page. Click Preview to see a large player. Press Play to see the proxy of your exported sequence. You can also see all of the metadata you entered. And there you have it, 
the complete portal workflow for Premiere Pro. It's an experience that balances the familiarity and convenience of the Premiere Pro interface with the potency of portal asset management. It's straightforward and remarkably powerful. Just one more reason Portal is so compelling. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantamo.com.